Hey, hi everyone. Welcome to the demo of natural language Bill search. Let me give you a heads up of what we have done. We have developed a one of a kind search engine targeting the real estate domain. So we are interested in crawling the various websites and classifieds related to the real estate domain. So we have used our in-house distributor web crawler named Open Crawler. So it is a distributor messaging based crawler which you, we use to crawl the web pages of real estate websites and classifieds. Okay. So this Open Crawler is powered by our own brand textcomputing.com. So the extracted results of this open crawler will be fed to the entity extraction module where we use the natural language processing units to extract the entities related to the rentals and sales classifieds and real estate data. So these dates once extracted will be stored in a distributed data store. So we use the HPS and the NoSQL distributed data store for this. So on the other hand, we have a user interface which actually gets a query from the user. The input user query will be on the natural language. So the user can input his own natural language based query and the interface that we have developed will get that natural language input will process it so we will basically process the text entered by the user we will try to extract the details the user is looking for like the location place date price and the other things and then we will search on based on these extracted entities we will search on the HBase data store will retrieve the results back and serve it to the user. So this is what our real estate search engine is about, which is based on the natural language at both the ends in the user interface as well as the backend crawler and indexing. Yeah. Coming to the the user interface. So this is the user interface what we have developed which will get the user input which is based on natural language. See for example, I am interested in plots in location Kela Mbaka. Okay. So when I enter this plots in Kela Mbaka, I am able to get the results for the plots that are present in Kela Mbaka for various different dates and also its price so we can have we have a view button where we can get the data source where actually we have collected it from from which website or classified we have got this particular data okay. so it is not just plots in Kela Bakum. we can give inputs like plots in Kela Bakum, price greater than 15 lakhs and when you click on search so we'll get only the data if you see now we're getting data only which are say 25 lakhs 18,000 and 312 which is again greater than 15 lakhs and 28 lakhs 88,000 and 30 lakhs and 41 lakhs 91,000 etc let me try to change this query a little bit okay let me try getting data which is say for example I am having data of 30 lakhs I could see two data here let me try price less than so here I'm just trying less than 35 lakhs see here now I'm able, able to retrieve the plots in Kalambaka with price less than 35 lakhs so it's 25 lakhs 18,000 12 lakhs 14 lakhs and 11 lakhs and so on 
let me try a different query see plots in a different location see may made a worker let me give the price between twenty lakhs and sixty lakhs. Let's see what happens. Okay, so we don't have data in this range. Let me go with the entire data in my dollar. So we have only data sixty five lakhs and eighty three. Okay, let me choose the same price between instead of 20 and 60 let me go as 50 and 65 let me search it yeah it's still above so let me go with 66 yeah hooray you got it so we can use the natural language in this way it can be not only this with say greater than or less than even we can use say made of account price less than say 66 and it changes so it's the same result let me go with greater than you got it let me even give me a space so it's still okay see I can give the greater than less than between or anything I can give any location I can give any price so that I can navigate the query based on my thought so I just translated my thought into an input query instead of the plain old fashion of giving various text boxes a drop down boxes a list to get the input of user within the selected range so here we have presented a way where you can give any input so the based on the best effort we will try to retrieve we will extract the entities and we will try to retrieve the results based on the input given by the user yeah thank you thanks for watching this presentation yeah have a nice day